terrifying. This a lot of little kids. We've always had coyotes in the neighborhood. People in this quiet Arlington neighborhood say sounds like that and sights like this are pretty common. This is a coyote casually walking through a field at Bishop School earlier this summer. I don't usually worry about it during the day, but now this is pretty scary. But on Sunday at around 5.30 p.m., those sightings took a turn when a coyote bit a five-year-old boy playing in a sandbox at a friend's house on Cutter Hill Road. I heard someone just out the window say, I got bit by a coyote. That's a little uh, that's a little unsettling because usually they, you know, if they see you, they take off. Neighbors sharing several videos with us. We have a golden retriever puppy and a couple days ago, two of the coyotes jumped over our fence. Just last week, a three-year-old child was bit by a coyote on Herring Cove Beach in Provincetown, and this is video from last month in Nahant, showing coyotes playing on a slide, and in Tudor Beach, where there was another sighting today. Police say the little boy in Arlington's attack is expected to be okay, but are warning people to be more aware. If you do see a coyote, the best things you can do would take some proactive approaches to getting that coyote away from you. Be loud, exaggerate your movements, make as much noise as you possibly can. And Watertown police also issuing a warning tonight after a pack of coyotes attacked a dog while its owner walked it on Walnut Street in the area of Walnut Street, I should say.